A man in his 80s along with a good Samaritan and a deputy are recovering after being attacked by dogs near Katy. Investigators say deputies shot and killed the two animals. The attacks happened around 830 this morning off Doherty Place near Misty Cove Drive. KPRC 2's Corley Peel is live outside the home and just spoke with the 83 year old man's stepdaughter, Corley. Keith, as you can imagine, they are shaken up about this. And I spoke with Dennis McKee's stepdaughter. She tells me those dogs showed up here this morning. They gave them water and they didn't appear to be aggressive, but things turned terribly very quickly. Surveillance video shows 83 year old Dennis McKee petting two dogs outside his home, appearing playful. Because at first they didn't seem like mean dog. Bielka Wong says moments later, the dogs attacked her stepfather. Had you seen those dogs before? Uh, no, no. Shortly after, she heard her mother and stepfather screaming for help. She grabbed this umbrella. So I, I came back out and started hitting the dogs because he wasn't letting go of my stepdad. Sergio Torres heard the commotion next door. The ladies were pretty heroic, though, because they didn't seem to be too scared of the dogs and were out the entire time around the dogs. So it seemed like the dogs had something against the men. A 43 year old man driving by jumped out to help. He came out with some kind of wire and he was hitting them with that too. Mm -hmm. And then the dogs went after him. The dogs bit the Good Samaritan. He jumped on top of Wong's car to get away, leaving a dent. A responding deputy was also bit before deputies opened fire on the dogs. You know, the, the police officers did try to keep the dogs contained before even shooting them. The dogs did not survive. My mom cried, you know, because she she had never seen that. I was like, it's okay, mom, you know, mm -hmm. because they could have bit somebody else, you know, somebody, another kid. And investigators say they're determined, they're trying to determine if the dogs belong to an owner or if they are strays. We did see a collar that was left in the grass after that attack this morning. Dennis McKee's stepdaughter tells me that he is in the hospital downtown and is expected to go undergo surgery today. The deputy and the Good Samaritan that were injured are expected to be okay as well. But this is an ongoing investigation. We, of course, will keep you updated as we learn more. Reporting live near Kate. Corley Peel, KPRC 2 News. Corley.